Second. Deputies with the East Baton Rouge Parish Sheriff's Office say that LSU student Madison Brooks was raped before she was hit and killed by a car on Burbank Drive. Now that happened more than a week ago. Tonight, the attorney representing two of the people behind bars says a video shows a whole different story. 18 year old Kayvon Washington and a juvenile are both charged with something called third degree rape. Now, two others you see there have been booked on charges of principal to third degree rape. Why can't they show the 17 year old's face? That's what I want to know. And he looks like a white boy. Why can't they show his face? Because they got another white boy in here. They don't want to make it. They don't want. They're trying to spin a narrative or something. That's what I want to know. Show the 17 year old's face. It's four of them, not three of them. We don't have one picture because it's a 17 year old. Lester Dewey is here with the very. Yeah, I go with that nonsense again because he's 17. Very latest on what we've learned, Lester. Greg, deputies have been conducting interviews about this rape angle for quite some time, we're told. But attorney Ryan Haley says while sexual acts did take place, there was absolutely no rape. And his clients did not just drop the victim off on the side of Burbank Drive. It's been a mystery for more than a week now. Why was LSU sophomore Madison Brooks standing in the middle of Burbank Drive near the Pelican Lakes neighborhood? This is around 3 in the morning as she was hit by a car. But tonight, investigators believe they've pieced together the moments leading up to the tragedy. Deputies arresting four men who they say were seen leaving with Madison Brooks in a car from Reggie's Bar in Tigerland. Detectives say this was after a night of drinking. Attorney Ron Haley and his team are representing two of the suspects. She willfully got into the car, said that her rides had left her, and got in. Uh, after that point in time, uh, there was consensual sexual acts. Uh, done in that car with her and two other individuals at two separate times. Investigators charge the men with what's called third degree rape, which basically means the victim was too intoxicated to consent to sex. Deputies charge both 18 year old Kayvon Washington and an unidentified 17 year old minor with that third degree rape charge. 28 year old Everett Lee and Kaysen Carver were charged with principal to third degree rape, which means investigators believe they were there when it occurred, but did not take part in it. Absolutely not a rape. Listen, this is a tragedy, definitely not a crime. Haley says a video taken during the incident shows Madison Brooks was in a coherent state and knew what was happening all along. Can you tell that she was intoxicated? Yes. To the point under the law that you say you're in a drunken stupor, to the point that you cannot uh, lawfully give consent or answer questions, absolutely that was that was not the case. Haley says an argument took place between Madison Brooks and the driver of the vehicle. Then she left. Based on disagreement, she got out of the vehicle. She indicates she was getting an Uber. I want the public to know that these young men, or really the driver of the vehicle and the young men that were in there did not put her off on the side of the road. Arrest documents say that the driver thought the girl was too drunk to consent, telling deputies, I guess she was. Brooks's blood alcohol level when she got to the hospital was nearly four times the legal limit, but Haley believes the video will acquit his clients fully, and the real blame needs to be on the bars selling to underage drinkers. LSU's President William Tate released a statement following these arrests, saying in part, quote, in the coming days we will call a meeting with these business owners to discuss how their responsibilities directly impact the safety of our students. We will work openly against any business that doesn't join us in efforts towards creating a safer environment for our students. Enough is enough. Attorney Ron Haley tells me he will turn over that video evidence to investigators and the district attorney's office. Of course, if we get any more information on this case, it will be on our Nine News app. Greg. All right, so a lot of underage drinking involved in this entire incident. Thank you very much. Yeah, man. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of twists and turns here, man. There's a lot of twists and turns here. Okay, so let's say that video does show that, you know, she had consensual sex. She was drunk, but not drunk to the point that she couldn't consent to it. And um, now just got you have to chalk it up to the fact that the bar, I mean the restaurant had no business selling the kids. All right. And 
you really can't charge these four individuals for rape then. Four people arrested in the alleged rape of LSU student who died after being hit by a car. East, East Baton Rouge authorities said two of the suspects raped Madison Brooks after taking her home from a bar following a night of drinking. She was later hit by a car and killed. Four people are, were arrested in connection to what investigators said was the rape of Madison Brooks, a Louisiana State University student who was fatally hit by a car shortly after authorities said the suspects dropped her off in an East Baton Rouge subdivision. Two suspects, Kayvon Washington, 18, an unidentified 17-year-old boy, who were booked Monday on a charge of charge each of third-degree rape. According to the East Baton Rouge Parish Sheriff's Office and jail records, two suspects, two other suspects, Kaysen Carver, 18, and Everett Lee, 28, were booked on a charge each of a charge of principal to the third degree rape jail records show Lee is Washington's uncle. The sheriff's office said authorities alleged that the Washington and that Washington and the 17 year old rape Brooks in the back of Carver's car after she asked for a ride home from Reggie's bar on January 15th, following the night, following a night of drinking. An arrest report says, All right, Let's see, the bar loses its liquor license. Let's check that out. Okay, as they should. As Deputies they should. say four men are connected to the death of 19-year-old Madison Brooks. The LSU sophomore was standing on Burbank Drive when she was hit and killed by a vehicle in the early morning hours of January 15th. According to the East Baton Rouge. Sheriff's Office, 18-year-old Kavion Washington and an unnamed 17-year-old are charged with third-degree rape. Louisiana law states a third-degree rape charge involves cases where the victim is incapable of resisting or of understanding the nature of the act because of intoxication. 27-year-old Everett Lee and 18-year-old Kaysen Carver were both charged with principal to third-degree rape meaning they were present but did not take part in the alleged crime. Carver told police the men met Brooks at a bar in Tigerland. Records show Carver then told police the woman asked for a ride home. Carver said he noticed Brooks was unable to speak clearly without slurring her words. Investigators say Brooks had a blood alcohol level of 0.319. That's nearly four times the legal limit. With the blood alcohol that high in anyone of any age, that is approaching alcohol poisoning. Family medicine doctor Ronald Andrews says that blood alcohol level can lead to a coma and possibly death. Anytime you get above 0 0.25% um, alcohol intoxication, that is when you start getting into trouble with your balance, trouble walking straight without assistance. Police say after the alleged rape, the men dropped Brooks off near Pelicans Lake subdivision. That's where she was hit by a car and later died at the hospital. Underage drinking is a problem, not only here in Baton Rouge or Louisiana, but nationwide. And it's something that we all as parents uh, and medical providers need to talk to our children about. Attorney Ron Haley is representing the primary suspects, Lee and Washington. Haley says the sex was consensual. Dr. Andrews says at a blood alcohol level of 0.319, consent is nearly impossible. Someone in that state probably needed medical help uh, instead, unfortunately, how this story turned out. All right. The group is alleged to have dropped Brooks off at just before 3 a.m. in the East Baton Rouge subdivision where she was fatally hit by a car after she wandered into the street. According to the report, Brooks, 19, was taken to the Behind two soulful pairs oh, of eyes, a bandaged little... Okay. Um, she wandered into the street. According to the report, Brooks, 19, was taken to the house where she died from her injuries. The driver was not arrested. An autopsy said Brooks tested positive for THC had a blood alcohol content of 0 0.319, nearly four times the legal limit for drivers, according to the report. It also found injuries consistent with previous sexual assault. Carver told investigators that he, his friends, and Lee did not know Brooks before they met her at Reggie's. The report said the sheriff's office said it obtained a video that showed Brooks and the group at the bar. At one point, she was seen hugging and dancing with the 17-year-old 
authorities said. Carver said that they were all drinking and that Brooks was very unable to on was unstable on her feet, was not able to keep her balance, and was unable to speak clearly without slurring her words, according to the report. When they were about to leave, Brooks asked for a ride home. Carver told detectives he said he agreed because he did not want to leave her while very intoxicated and that the bar was closing, the report said. But you left her out in the street to walk by herself. You saw that she was unable to walk, but you left her in this. Wow. Brooks reportedly had trouble telling Carver she, who was driving where she lived. According to the report, Carver said that when he asked her for her address, she fell over and could not answer him. Carver said he drove a short distance and parked the park. The report said he told investigators that he heard the 17 year old ask Brooks five times whether she wanted to have sex with him. Carver told authorities that Brooks gave verbal consent. He also told investigators that Washington asked Brooks numerous times whether she wanted to have sex and she consented. According to the arrest report, Carver said he and Lee, who was in the passenger seat, remained in the car during both encounters. The report said, according to Carver, at one point he told his friends, we've got to stop this. Let it go. Asked by investigators whether he thought Brooks was too drunk to consent, Carver said, I guess, the report said. Carver said that he was still unable to find where Brooks lived and he had dropped her off in the subdivision. Idiot. Lee and a parent of the 17-year-old declined to speak with detectives. According to the arrest report, Washington denied having sex with Brooks. The report said, man, this is just looking all the way bad, just all the way bad. NBC News could not reach Ron Haley, a lawyer who was representing two of the suspects for comment Tuesday. He told WAFB-TV of Baton Rouge, that a rape did not occur. She willingly got into the car, said that her ride, that her rides had left her, and she got in. At that point in time, there was consensual, consensual sexual acts done in the car with her and two other individuals at a, two separate times. Haley said video of the encounter showed that Brooks was coherent. He also said that Brooks and Carver got into a disagreement after they drove around looking for the address, and Brooks said she wanted to go out and call an Uber. Can you tell that she was intoxicated? Yes to the point that under the law that say you're in a drunken stupor to the point that you cannot lawfully give consent or give or answer questions. Absolutely. That was not the case. The state office of alcohol and tobacco control said Tuesday afternoon, it, it would issue an emergency suspension barring Reggie's bar from serving or selling alcohol because of the seriousness of the allegations and the potential threat of public safety. An emergency hearing in February will determine whether any penalties should be imposed against the establishment. Brooks was a member of the LSU Delta Tau chapter of Alpha Phi. The sorority on, said on Facebook, remembering her as someone who had a lasting impact on all of us. A statement to the school community, LSU President William F. Tate the fourth, the fifth, no, I'm sorry, the sixth, said she was an amazing woman, young woman with limitless potential. She should have not have taken, she not have been taken from us. What happened to her was evil and our legal system will partial out justice, Tate said. Our collective grief and outrage cannot be put into mere words. The university has made national headlines in the past because of underage drinking. Four people were indicted in the 2017 death of an 18-year-old LSU student, Maxwell Guyver, whose blood alcohol content was more than six times the legal limit for driving after fraternity members were alleged to have subjected him to a hazing ritual. The school banned, fratern banned the fraternity until 2033. Yeah, man. Um, one person said she's consented. There's a video of it. Another person said, you know, he guesses that she was incoherent. So this will be an interesting case to follow up on. All right. But, you know, there's a lot of blame to go around, especially with Reggie's Excuse me, Reggie's Bar giving drinks to minors? Yeah, that place needs to be shut down. And, um... When a woman is... When a female is drunk, period, you do not take advantage of her. You don't do that. These guys are going to end up paying the price. They are going to pay the price. Public opinion, uh... The optics on this is not looking good for these 
young boys. It's not at all. Tell me what you think in the comments. Like, share, comment, and subscribe later.